Henrik Lundqvist. <clears throat> got chills watching that. Um, well, it's, it's really an honor to be here today celebrating an MSG legend. And throughout my career, I remember so many moments being on the ice, looking up to the rafters, seeing all these names, Knicks, legends, Ranger legends, and of course, Billy Joel. And as a huge music fan, you know, that banner really got my attention. And it was so fun, you know, every time I came back playing home here at the Garden and you look up and the number just kept going up and up over the years and it was so cool. And I just want to congratulate you on something very special and amazing. And um, yeah, I, I think it, it, for me personally, it, it means so much to uh, have my jersey retired here at the Garden, but I'm so honored to have your name alongside with me. So thank you so much and, and congratulations. Thank you. Please welcome the Executive Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Madison Square Garden Entertainment, Jim Dolan. Well, Bill, tomorrow, play another show, and the regular crowd shuffles in. <laughs> no, they've been coming for a long time. The, the, uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today to celebrate one of the music's, music's greatest entertainers and a true blue, born and bred New Yorker. When we announced that Billy would be Madison Square Garden's first ever music franchise, we of course had high hopes. And you saw in the video, the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> more like, how long is this gonna go? Nobody thought it was going to do this. Not even Dennis Arford thought it was going to do this. <laughs> no, um, and you know, I said it at the at the hundredth when we did we celebrated the hundredth uh, show, and I'll I'll say it again. It's never going to happen again. I I you know, I I just don't see how it could possibly ever happen again. It's the most amazing accomplishment. The um and. Uh, we're very, very proud to be part of it. And we knew we would sell out shows for, you know, a handful of years. But uh, 10 years later, every single show sold out. I think I've been to about half of them. The, uh, uh, <clears throat> and as I said, I think it, uh, it exceeded even our wildest dreams. Madison Square Garden has been part of so much music history but as the home of the first arena-sized residency in history, what Billy Joel has accomplished is extraordinary. Since the residency began, we've welcomed more than 1.6 million fans from all 50 states and more than 120 countries to the Garden to watch Billy Joel and his amazing band perform. The fans that have come have come from all over the world to be part of this extraordinary history-making event here at Madison Square Garden. Just take a moment and think about that and what it says about what Billy has brought not only to the Garden but to New York City and what it says about New York City. The, the, uh, no, I don't, no other city in the world right, could have hosted this. The, the, uh, it, it, part of, of this achievement is an achievement, of course, on Billy's part, but also on, on part of the city and what it says about the city and, and how the, you know, the cultural center that this city is the, um, and the revival of this city from COVID. The, um, the, the uh, New York is, is a very, very special place, and we're so lucky to have Billy Joel the, um, be our standard bearer, the, um, be our artist in residence. The, the uh, um, 
And uh, so now, and with a little bit of sadness, we're here to announce that after 10 years, Billy's monthly residency at the Garden will end with his 150th, 150th lifetime show, which, which is slated for July 2024. And the first of the final 10 residency shows will be on Friday, October 20th. We here at Madison Square Garden are proud to have been home to an incredible moments for generations of Billy's fans for more than 40 years. The, and Billy, although the residency is coming to an end, we look forward to an exciting closing run to celebrate all that you have accomplished and forever welcoming you back home to the garden anytime, anytime you'd like. I'd like to thank you, Billy, for embracing the crazy idea 10 years ago and for bringing unforgettable experiences to fans from around the world. Congratulations on making history. And now I'd like to introduce the mayor of our great city, city the Honorable Eric Adams. I, uh, I start my day uh, getting the back of the SUV with my security detail. I place on the earphones and I play New York State of Mind. And what really touched me this morning, with all that my Deputy Mayor uh, Williams Isom has to deal with as she manages uh, the asylum crisis, the homelessness, human services, mental health issues. When she heard I was coming here today, she said, Eric, I have to come and see Billy Joe and tell him thank you. And there's something that if you only see the performance of this great artist on the stage of the probably the biggest stage in the country, if not the globe, you will miss that he's not merely an entertainer. The million plus people who came in to sing along the songs, at the conclusion of the show, they left. They left re-energized. They left thinking about how blessed we are and how privileged we are to be a New Yorker. He captured the essence of New York City. He was an ambassador of what's great about New York and where the American dream lives and grow every day. And the diversity of his audience. When I walk around and I hear people all brag about, not that they attended a show, but how many shows they attended. The repeated number of people who come over and over and over again to hear all the favorite songs, all the favorite beats, and they become anew again. This was a revival, not merely a residency. This was a moment for New Yorkers to state that no matter what we went through or what we are going through, we can come in and get the energy that comes from that piano, from that voice, from the surprises that came every day. I am so happy and blessed to be here, to be the mayor during the time that Billy Joel is finishing up this amazing run. It's going to be 10 years of doing this, exciting. And to his two beautiful daughters who probably did not capture the moment of the relevance of this moment right now, they're going to look back over it in time. And they're going to see what their dad did, not only on the stage of Madison Square Garden, but on the stage of New York City. New York is the most important country, city on the globe. That makes Madison Square Garden the most important arena, and that makes Billy Joel the most important artist. Job well done, brother. You did your thing, man. And I'm looking forward to hearing many, many, many more moments of that. Thank you. Let's, let's give it up.
to Billy Joe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it, it is an honor to be here today to uh, celebrate. Oh, that's your thing, Billy Joel. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, thank you, Jim. When we announced Billy, no, this ain't mine either. Anyway, um, it is an honor to be here. Um, I'm kind of flabbergasted that it did last as long as it did. My, my team tells me that we could continue to sell tickets, but 10 years, I don't know, it's 150 shows, 10 years, all right already. Uh, and I, I mean, despite what you've read, I'm, I'm selling my house in Long Island, but I'm not leaving New York. I'm just spending a little more time down in Florida like old Jewish guys do from New York City. So it's really not that much news. So essentially, we're just here to hype the next 10 shows, ticket sales. It's promotion. And uh, I don't have my notes, wherever they were. But um, it's true, it, 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 we, it's hard to believe that we've been able to do this for 10 years. Uh, I didn't know how long it was gonna last. I thought there would be an arc to it. Maybe it'll sell well in the beginning and then eventually it's gonna dwindle out. But it keeps selling and people keep coming and people keep buying tickets and uh, I'm now 74. I'll be 75 next year. It seems like a nice number to just, okay. Uh, thank you. Here I am. Okay. Thank you, Mayor Adams and, and Jim. Oh, God. For your kind words. I need my glasses for this. Uh, I do remember the first night I played at Madison Square Garden. It was the pinnacle of, of my career. My God, I'm, I'm headlining Madison Square Garden. Everybody in the world knows when you play at the Garden. It's not just New York. Everybody knows when you've done the Garden. And uh, I never imagined anyone could have a resident residency here. Uh, it's just been one crazy, exhilarating night after another. We didn't think of the last 10 years. But um, I didn't dreamed that I'd be standing it 10 years later. Um, and to me, my band, Madison Square Garden is more than just our office, it's home. Uh, I think if you, if you, what's that thing, you Google somebody's house, when they, if you Google Billy Joel's house, they show Madison Square Garden, <laughs> which is kind of cool, you know. I uh, never found my bedroom, though. Uh, so I want to thank you, Heinrich, Jim, Josephine, the whole team here at Madison Square Garden for allowing us to be the house band for the past 10 years and making us feel like part of the family. Uh, to Mayor Adams, the great city of New York, thank you. And to our audience, I want to thank them for coming for this long, for this much. Uh, it's hard to end, even in 150 lifetime shows. But as I said, we're not abandoning New York, we're just spending a little more time someplace else. And um, I just want to thank everyone for the wonderful thing that's happened here. Thank you very much. What an incredible run. Absolutely incredible. Every show filled with energy, every show different. People talk about the special memories. The mayor was right. People walk out of this arena after your show, and it's a communal experience for them. They, they